Hi, I'm Chris Hager with Protein Simple, and today I'm here to talk to you about Maurice's native fluorescence for the detection of protein therapeutic mixtures. Therapeutic protein co-mixtures present a unique challenge for analysis due to the relative abundance of the two proteins in solution. In this study, we examine ways that Maurice can be used to study two products in the same sample. Our ICIF technology, built on our ICE-280 and ICE-3 platforms, and now part of the Maurice platform, is widely used as a reliable and reproducible method to detect changes in charge heterogeneity of antibodies, as well as being used for stability studies. Maurice adds native fluorescence to the platform, increasing the dynamic range and sensitivity of the instrument. An advantage of the fluorescence capability of Maurice is the ability to take different exposures at the same time as capturing an absorbance signal. For a therapeutic co-mixture where two products may be present at significantly different concentrations, two different image exposures for fluorescence can be used to tease apart the same sample in a single analysis. We generated a model system to mimic a therapeutic co-mixture by using the NISTMAB and a protein simple IgG. These antibodies have significantly different isoelectric points, enabling their separation by IEF. For the study, we placed the two proteins at 10 to 20 fold concentration differences. In this situation, on a UV-based instrument, the same sample would require dilution. This will decrease sample throughput and increase the complexity of data analysis. In Figure 2, we show a theoretical UV absorbance dilution response for a protein mixture. In order to accurately quantitate both proteins in the sample, the sample will need to be diluted. The monoclonal antibody 1, shown in blue, needs to be diluted to get into the linear range of detection. At the same time, a similar dilution may cause the second antibody, shown in orange, to be below the limit of quantitation, represented by the orange dashed line. Being able to use different fluorescence exposure times allows us to use a short exposure for the high concentration antibody and a longer exposure for the low concentration antibody. When selecting the two specific fluorescent exposure times to be used, two criteria need to be met, which we show in Figure 3. First, it's important to make sure that at both fluorescent exposures being used, the resolution of the antibodies remains unchanged. Second, as shown in figure 3b, using the shortest exposure time, the signal to noise should be sufficient for the entire test range. As we show for MAB2, at the 5 second exposure, the signal to noise ratio is 90. For a model protein mixture moving forward, we use the 5 second exposure to quantify the high concentration MAB1 and a longer exposure of 20 seconds to quantify the low concentration antibody MAB2. Once the appropriate fluorescence times for the individual antibodies have been determined, a single quantitative analysis for the sample can be performed. Using the short exposure, we explored the linear detection range for MAB1. In this experiment, shown on the left, we kept the antibody 2 constant while titrating antibody 1. On the right, in figure 4b, is the linearity for MAB1. The r squared value is greater than 0.99, indicating an excellent correlation between sample dilution and resulting peak area. Using the same dilution series and a 20 second exposure, we can now look at MAB2. As shown in figure 5, the linearity for MAB2 is also greater than 0.99, again indicating an excellent correlation between sample dilution and resulting peak area. These data show that a protein mixture with a concentration difference of 100 to 1 could be analyzed in a single sample on Maurice. A common use of ICIF technology is in the monitoring of protein stability studies where charge heterogeneity is required for reporting to federal agencies. We investigated the ability of Maurice to detect changes in the co-mixture. The co-mixture of antibody 1 and 2 was prepared and stressed at 60 degrees for 24 hours and then compared to unstressed material as we show in figure 6. In figure 6a, we first look at the 5 second exposure for the control sample. As you can see, the antibody 1 and 2 profiles in the control sample are as expected. When the sample was stressed for 24 hours, as shown in figure 6b, an increase in the acidic species from antibody 1 can be seen. This is using the 5 second exposure. Using a 20 second exposure, we can look at MAB2 in figure 6c before stress and in figure 6d after stress. After stress, the profile for MAB2 changes as well. Together, these data show that Maurice can be used for protein stability study testing. We show that complex samples containing more than one protein at different concentrations can be accurately and reproducibly quantitated on Maurice, eliminating the need for sample dilution. The Maurice system innovates conventional CE technology by combining CIEF and CESDS into a fully automated platform, thus enabling protein analysis by either size or charge. 
Our unique ICIF technology is augmented by a sensitive native fluorescence capability, which increases your dynamic range and improves sensitivity over conventional UV-based detection methods. For more information, please visit the Maurice webpage. Thank you.